Well, as you can see, we've got some serious rain going on over here. Um, visibility is quite poor. And uh, it's time for another China how it is. Anyway, um, I've been getting some questions about uh, phones. In particular, mobile phones, you know, cellular, cellular phones. Um, people are wondering, when they come to China, do they have to buy a new phone? How do the phone operators work over here? Well, I thought I'd explain it all to you. Okay, so anyway, um, there are two major cellular networks here. Okay, the first one, the bigger one, is China Mobile, which is also in Chinese, it's uh, Zhongguo Yidong. The uh, second one, the one that I use, is uh, China Unicom, which in Chinese is uh, uh, Liantong, you know, Zhongguo Liantong. Um, I'll put the characters up here somewhere for you to see. Right, the first thing that I'm going to teach all of you guys is how to recharge your phone. I'll get into buying a SIM card a little later, because I am going to buy one. Um, cause I'm having some guests coming over uh, here for the wedding, so they're going to need a, a phone. So anyway, um, first of all, in order to say a recharge card, you say Chongzhi Ka. Um, I'll find the characters and put them up for you. Uh, first thing you're going to need is uh, to find a newsstand. They all look the same all over the country. These green China Postal. It's always green. Always looks like this China Post. So here we got a, a busker making a lot of noise. Okay. Maybe not ideal. That's nice and everything, but it's too loud. I need to find a place a little further. Now oh, there's another one just across the street. See another newsstand. I'm going to go and ask them if they have a recharge card and then I'm going to ask them if they have the Liantong which is what I have, what I use. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Right. Anyhow, Chong Zhu Kai Yomel. Yo. Uh we are you buy quite a... Oh, just a... Oh, it's just in here. And there we have it. Oops, give me a second. Man, that guy's noisy. That's what it looks like, the Liantong. There you can see, um, come on, focus. Yeah. That's a China Unicom, which I use. That's the 3G. Right now, you can't get a 3G pay, prepaid uh, on the normal China mobile. That's why I use Unicom. Anyway, so now I'm going to show you how to recharge your card on uh, Unicom. And uh, I'll explain to you how you recharge the card on China mobile. It's pretty much the same. All right, excuse the mess. I just bought a new drill and stuff because, you know, I'm moving house and I need to put up some shelves and whatnot. Okay, so let me show you how this works. We open this up. It's very, very straightforward. It's just you scratch off it's one of those, um, you know, you got to scratch off to reveal. Okay, now there's something very nice about recharging your phone here, and that is that you can actually recharge someone else's phone as well. So if you have a friend who's stuck somewhere and they don't have money, you can send them money to their phone. I'll explain to you how that works in a minute. Now, um, in order to recharge a Unicom number, you have to dial 111. If you want to recharge a China Mobile, it's 13800, 138000. Um, anyway, I'm going to call this number now and put it on speakerphone for you to hear. Make sure the volume's up. See, so you press 1 to recharge your number. Okay, now obviously if you wanted to recharge a friend's number, you would, um, uh, what was it? Let me just get this down first. The number you would like to recharge is 1. 
Yes, that's the one. You press one to confirm. Okay, blah blah blah, you get the idea. So you can hang up. Now it sends you a, a message which is all in Chinese, but um, you know, it tells you, you can make out the number there, 100 yuan over there tells you. So I've just recharged my phone with 100 RMB, and that will last me about a month, and that includes 300 megabytes of data. Now let's actually talk about getting a card. Um, now things have changed since I first got to China. Uh, you used to just be able to walk up to any vendor, you know, any of these places, and um, basically just buy a card. In fact, you still can. But you know, the rules have changed slightly. You're supposed to show uh, your passport, or a copy of your passport. Um, now, in order to get this China Unicom, a SIM card from them, you have to go to one of these China Unicom shops. They're all over the place. I'll take a photo later and I'll Put it up here for you to see but it's basically got a orange wo for war okay um, and that is where you will get your uh, china unicom sim card now they've got many different plans they've got the one that i have it's 96 renminbi a month that you have to recharge you have to at least once a month put in 96 renminbi and that includes a certain amount of free calls a certain amount of free messages and 300 megabytes of data 3g now the 3G is pretty uh, quick here, they have UMTS and um, HSDPA, so it depends on the signal strength or the area you're in. If you get HSDPA, of course it's faster and better than UMTS 3G, but it's very fast, very quick, very nice, and uh, I use it for everything, so um, it's, it's awesome. Uh, next one is China Unicom, I mean sorry, China Telecom which is the biggest one and it's uh, also available anyway you can buy them at those newsstands I'm going to get one soon probably tomorrow um, they run on 2G so you'll get edge and if you're in a bad area you'll drop down to um, GPRS um, but it still works really well it's much cheaper you can get away with spending about 50 renminbi a month uh, using using the occasional amount of data and making phone calls and whatnot Right guys, so now I'm going to go and buy a SIM card. i uh, going to take the CB and go and find a place. Now you can normally buy them at uh, those newsstands, well used to be able to, but I'll just take you to a shop. It's very easy to spot. Come along. Alright. to go and buy a SIM card. I first need to go and draw some money though. Yep. This is a pedestrian uh, walkway but you know what. My bike can go there, it goes there. What I'm going to do is, this by the way is the Shenzhen Rural Commercial Bank. It's not really the kind of <laughs> place I would normally want to get money from a rural bank. Huh. Anyway. There's a shop just up the road here where you can buy the 3G Unicom cards like the one I have now. I'll show you. Here it is. See like I was telling you the orange orange shop and you see it says war like W O China Unicom. So this is where you could go and buy yourself a 3G card, but that's not what I want. Oh, it's fucking noisy. Um, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for normal China mobile. Okay, Let's see if I can spot a shop anywhere around here that says China mobile. There is a, yeah, there we go. I see China mobile on the back wall of that shop. So let's see if I can go and buy myself a SIM card. Okay. Let's make 
sure we're still recording. Yep, yeah, still going. Right. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait, you are. Yeah. Yeah. You are. 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 No, when you're choosing a number, you don't want fours in it. This is good. This is good. This is uh, so these are the cards I've got in the in the shop, those are the ones if you order you have to get them. Now I bought my old HTC Desire around here, Desire Z, you know, the flip out keyboard type. So I can show you how the SIM card works. Oh, oh, you see. Now you'll notice there's a different price. The better the number, the higher the price. You see? You know, they're very superstitious here. So here you can see it's a China Mobile. Yeah. Oh, they're empty. Very helpful fellow, I really don't need help. Oh. Mm, as you can see, very normal SIM card. Yes, I'm not that stupid. Oh. There's the puck numbers on there. Oops. Oh. Mm. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, don't see any more now. Bye bye. I'd rather do this without them uh, looking over my shoulder and like that overly helpful guy showing me how to put a sim card into a phone give me a break anyway see how easy that was I got now uh, to answer a lot of your questions a lot of you guys have been asking can I use my phone when I come to China well yes if your phone takes sim cards you know I, I know in America and some countries the the phone is sealed there's like no sim card it's CDMA obviously you can't use that but you can use a quad band GSM phone any phone that can take a sim card of course you can use it here and you saw how easy it was anyway let me phone okay it's busy calling now Let's see if it works yep the phone's ringing it's ringing Incoming call. There we go. See? End call. I now have a working phone in China. There we are. See how easy that was? Don't go wasting your time with international roaming plans. Don't go spending huge amounts of money. My advice to you, bring your phone here. Go buy a SIM card like I just did. Um, worst comes to worst they'll ask to see your passport if you get the 3g one they did but this one as you saw all i did was give them some money it was ridiculously cheap um you know that's it it's done